With shader masks, you can apply shaders to widgets like texts. However, you can also apply it to any widget, like an image for example, there you can apply different shaders to. And lastly, you also can apply images as a shader for your widgets. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by applying some shaders which consist basically of different colors and also different blend modes. And we want to apply different shaders for our image. Therefore we get started with an our build method and here I basically display a simple image. And we load this image basically from the network. And now we want to apply to this image a shader and therefore you simply call this shader mask and wrap it around. And now you also need to set here mandatory a shader callback. And here inside you need to return a shader, so we want to start here with a linear gradient shader. And the linear gradient shader is basically applying some colors, for example in this case a red color and a greenish color. And these both colors are applied in a linear manner. And therefore we simply can set here two colors, so I set here a red color and the green color. And secondly you also can set where should it start, so we start here at the top left corner with our red color. And then we end here at the bottom right corner, which is here, with the green color. And now you see that we have applied here a simple linear gradient shader to our image. And you also can customize the shader mask, so for example you add here another color, which is blue. And then our shader mask looks differently, so we have here this red at the top left corner, and then we have green in between, and at the bottom right corner we have then our blue color. You also can look at your linear gradient, how it looks like by setting here this blend mode, for example, to source. And with this, the image is not displayed anymore and you see here directly the gradient which we have created with our linear gradient object. And this blend mode source is really helpful if you try to create here a gradient or later also other effects, then you always can see how your effect looks like. And after this you can again change your blend mode and then you see here also the image. Next we also can create a radial gradient shader. And this type of shader always starts at the center. And from the center point it expands then to the outside in a circular manner. To create this gradient we simply exchange our linear gradient by a radial gradient. And now you see that we have here in the center this blue color first and then it expands later to the red color in a radial manner. So let's put here for example again the source inside to see it directly. And to change here the radius of this blue circle you also can add here this radius and by default it has a radius of 50%. However you can also decrease it to make this radius smaller or you can also increase it to make the radius bigger. And then of course put here again another blend mode inside and then you also see here this image inside. And if you wonder what this blend mode is doing, it is basically an algorithm which we can set and this algorithm blends then the pixels. So it can basically access and modify the color channels which are red, green, blue and alpha. And therefore you have here different kind of algorithms which you can use to blend your pixels. Let's go again back to our source mode so that we can see the gradient effect. And here within our shader mask callback we get every time the rect and this is basically the size and the position of the widget, our child widget. And we also can manipulate this rect, so for example I translate it by 50 by 50 on the x coordinate and on the y coordinate. And now if I hot reload you see that it is translated to the bottom right corner. And if you put here a higher value inside then you can put it even more to the bottom right corner for example. And then if we put here again another blend mode inside you see here also this effect on our image. We also want to create a sweep gradient shader and this shader displays the gradient effect within an arc. And to create this type of shader you simply replace it here with a sweep gradient. And then you can also set here an angle inside, a start angle and an end angle. And now you see that he displays here this blue color within the start and end angle. And this means basically that it goes here from 0 degrees to 45 degrees and this is basically at this location. And like before we can set again a blend mode of source here inside and then you see here directly this effect which we have. And you also can increase this angle, so for example I put here right now 90 degrees inside. Or you can also put here 180 degrees inside and then it looks like this. 
After this, you can switch again to this color blend node and then you also see again your child widget. Alternatively, you also can set here this transform mode and here you basically can rotate your angle. And here I rotate it basically by 45 degrees. And now if I hot reload, you see it is rotated by 45 degrees. And we also can rotate it by 90 degrees. And now it is rotated by 90 degrees from this initial position. Next, we want to create an image shader and then we apply here this image as a shader for our widget. To get started with this image shader, we create a method load image. And here we basically load an image from our assets folder. And this is basically here this example image which we want to load right now. And then we basically get from this image the bytes. And we also want to decode our bytes to get our image. Within our UI, we want to load this image and therefore I simply wrap here around a future builder where we call here this load image method. And then we basically get here this image as a field. And now we can wrap here our network image, which is this image on the right side inside of this shader mask. And this time we create here then this shader callback with an image shader. And here inside we put then this image which we have loaded. And secondly, you also need to set here some other information inside. And now you see that this image which we have loaded and applied as a shader is here inside on top of our image. And this gives it a pretty cool effect. Next, we also want to look at how we can apply these kind of shaders to our text. Therefore, let's get started here with a text widget and we simply wrap here around a shader mask widget. And then you basically implement here again the shader callback and in this case we put here a linear gradient inside and here we basically do the same thing what we did before for the image. And now you see we have here this linear gradient from the left corner to the right corner and this is then on top of our text. We also can apply the radial gradient, therefore I simply create here the shader callback with this radial gradient. And this looks then by default like this. And like I showed you before, you also can change here this radius, for example, to 10%. And with this one, only 10% of this yellow color is here displayed in the radial manner. And right now we make here use of this blend mode source in, which is then applying our gradient, our radial gradient to our text. However, you can also set here source out and this will apply then the gradient to our background of the text or of the widget, which you have here put inside of this child property. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye.